welcome back to the channel guys I'm so happy you were able to join us here um, we're actually looking at day 14 of our int my mint intermittent fasting and weight loss journey and I have so much to share with you because I've kind of discovered a little tip along the way that's actually accelerating my progress It's actually helping me to get really good results um, we're closing in on about 10 pounds last in about 14 days 15 days and uh, for me that's phenomenal I actually feel the difference all over my body um, I don't feel like I've lost any of my muscle because I'm still working out a lot of people have the misconception that when you fast you're actually going to be burning muscle and we've all been told that that's actually wrong and that's actually bad for you I don't think I'm actually in starvation mode because I'm simply doing a 16-8 fasting method and there's just not enough time for me to to move from going up from a advanced fat storing mode burn, uh, fat burning mode after digesting my meals at, um, in the evening to starvation I'm just not at a lengthy level of of actually not taking in any food um, I do feel like I have a lot more energy though because I'm not napping during the day um, before when I used to eat late and also consume a lot more calories I found myself taking having to take naps during the day because I was always a little bit fatigued or lethargic um, could be that you know 2020 was such a stressful year for millions and millions of us around the world that possibly that had something to do with it but I do feel that it was diet related because only in the last 14 days or two weeks I've actually seen I've noticed I'm not taking these long naps like an hour two hours during the day anymore I'm just constantly I'm able to be more productive and um, do these videos uh, for for my YouTube subscribers so um, the fasting has actually made me um, I feel more productive so that is definitely a check plus because um, I feel like I have a lot more energy and um, that is definitely a good thing and uh, you know one thing I want to mention too that a lot of us struggle with those hunger pains in the morning they will subside if you uh, drink a lot of green tea like I do, and I, I try to have at least two cups in the morning, that gives me a lot of energy. It's very detoxifying. It's very alkalizing for your body, uh, very purifying for your body. People have been drinking green tea for thousands of years, and it does aid in your in your weight loss. Um, what we I wanted to mention in this update is my switch from eating less red meat and less chicken, um, less beef, um, just less land meat to actually consuming uh, more like sardines and tuna fish and the reason I'm making this switch is because um, I wanted to cut back on saturated fat and we all know that tuna is just an excellent high protein um, source And tuna fish or sardines or any kind of sustainable type of seafood that is on the lower chain of as far as so-called mercury um, um, intake um, sardines are generally on the list because they're not in a high food they're not in a high um, predator level like um, mackerel and barracuda that tend to are, are more labeled to have higher levels of um, mercury um, to, uh, sardines are actually on the lower level from what I understand so they tend to have a less reading as far as mercury and it's I've been eating sardines all the time I keep a can of sardines close to me all the time really good source of, um, of omega fatty acids um, omega-3 for your heart for your immune system and the other thing that I like about tuna fish is that it's high in potassium and when you're fasting it's very important for you to have a good amount of potassium in your body and also tuna fish is uh, uh, great for um, has zinc which is great for your immune system has selenium and both of these work synergistically for your immune system 
to help you help your immune system uh, operate pretty well. Most people who take supplements actually take zinc and selenium together. So it's one of those synergistic combos. You can look it up for yourself, but I've been taking zinc and selenium in a multivitamin and separately for years and years. And it does help as far as keeping away flus and colds and so forth. And this is something that you can do research for yourself on your own, but these are two top notch um, um, uh, components that you can have um, going forward. But you can actually get them naturally with tuna and tuna is also high in vitamin C. And I'm going for that omega-3. And that just has so many great benefits for your heart. And um, for me, I am slightly hypertensive. So that was one of the main reasons that I wanted to, well, it's actually three reasons I wanted to switch up from having less chicken and meat to eating more fish is that it increases potassium also by losing weight. It's actually it um, it helps my body to to have less hypertension there's a link between obesity and hypertension there's no doubt about that and for for every pound that you lose in my opinion it increases your it increases your um, your health and your longevity so for me losing 10 pounds in 14 days almost uh, 15 days has been a real good accomplishment and I feel like it will help me in the long term I'm actually doing this for long term so once I get my once I get into the my my zone of the goal which is going to be maybe 170 180 pounds then I'm just going to do whatever it takes to maintain that going forward and I'll probably still just do some variation of intermittent fasting. 16-8 um, is not the only method you can do. You can have 16-8, or you can do alternate fasting, which is uh, eat one day regular, and then the second day you fast, and then eat one day, and then that, uh, that fourth day you fast, so there are different ways you can do it, but this is a no-brainer because you just, for me, my, my eight-hour window is 6, uh, 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. And that works out great for me because it interacts really well. It kind of um, intercepts my sleep cycle really well because I'm actually sleeping right through the morning, pretty much undisturbed because my body, uh, my heart, I feel like my heart rate's actually more relaxed. I feel my body is more relaxed overall because I'm just not digesting. I'm just simply not racing and trying to digest um, simple carbohydrates um, late at night anymore. And my body is actually getting used to that. It's becoming more adaptive to that cycle of not having to deal with a late night meal anymore and all of the issues that go into digestion. Um, one issue that I used to have was acid reflux. If I ate too late, then um, a lot of that real harsh stomach acid will actually come up into my esophagus and into my, uh, at one point it got really bad where the stomach acid actually got up through my esophagus into my sinus cavity and uh, drained, <laughs> drained out of my, my right nostril onto my pillow. And I've had a couple um, <clears throat> breathing episodes where I've actually felt, I've tasted um, a very, very caustic type of taste, which now I know is probably my stomach acid that was creeping up into my esophagus all the way up into my um, my, my, my breathing area and I'm actually tasting stomach acid. So that is one of the perils that I personally had of eating late and it's not something, it's something that I tried to get away from for a long, long time. So once I discovered intermittent fasting, it just seemed like um, a checkpoint for on so many ways. I was gonna able to uh, deal with my, um, I was going to be able to switch to eating healthier. I was going to be able to trim down almost effortlessly. It almost feels like the weight is just melting off. I do know that there's a term of endearment with this, and that has to do with day three and day four of the hunger pains in the morning. You will feel hungry. You'll feel like something is wrong, but if you 
if you do like I say, and I have done for myself, just drink some green tea in the morning or try and drink a lot more water in the morning, it will help and your body will adjust. So I'm hoping this helps. So my secret weapon going into the third week of this journey with you is tuna fish and sardines. If you don't like sardines, you might like tuna fish. If you're allergic to seafood, then don't do it. <laughs> or if you're allergic to shellfish, don't do it. I've had relatives who told me if they even go near a crustacean or a lobster or anything, then their right arm will swell up and we don't want that. So if you're allergic in any way, of course, please read my disclaimer. If you're allergic to seafood, then don't have any sardines. Uh, this is a wild planet brand which I tend to favor because I love the company I love what they're um, they're about and they only do um, they only go and they only pack and deal with products that are sustainable to the to the globe so I do like the wild planet they're a little bit more expensive but um, they have a lot of consciousness consciousness behind their product and what they do as far as um, only um, dealing with sustainable um, um, crops and um, uh, around the globe. So I do like the wild planet, but if you're allergic to sardines and you don't like the taste of them, you find them revolting, they're dull. there's so many different ways you can eat sardines. You can eat them with a little bit of rice, uh, you can eat sardines with a little bit of quinoa. I like eating it with quin uh, curried flavored quinoa. Um, there are just so many ways to increase having more seafood in your diet, which is rich in the omega-3 uh, fatty acids. Um, so I do recommend definitely if you can cut down on the saturated fat from the land meat and then go with seafood, you're just going to feel overall really a, much better. And it's going to complement your fasting more too because it's super high in protein protein and you're gonna feel fuller which is what we need and any kind of protein like I in my previous videos I talked about the benefits of egg white um, I tend to have egg white sandwiches all the time because they fill me up really well um, it's really easy to make an egg, egg white omelet um, I use five eggs but I use the egg only the egg white except for one yolk just to have a little vitamins and minerals in there mixed in for flavor and then you just put it between um, two two uh, two slices of um, well toasted honey um, whole wheat bread and you have a good meal that is going to keep you satisfied for the next few hours um, protein has a way of keeping us full and also you have to drink a lot more water because it takes a lot more energy in my opinion to digest protein than it does like a simple carbohydrate meal which is a, pretty much dissolves into sugar once it gets into your system so um, the subject of this update is to switch to more seafood if you can do a 50% switch I think in the long run um, it will be a lot more healthy and then look for brands that are more sustainable to our planet like uh, our, my wild uh, my wild planet which is the one I primarily do now I'm not sponsoring them they don't sponsor me I'm not endorsed by them I just love their taste and I love their products so yeah so um, I hope this update helps and I hope these tips really help too. Um, you know, we're going for increased potassium, we're going for increased protein, and I'm going for my next, my next, um, my total short-term, second short-term goal. We already accomplished the first one, which was seven pounds. I'm now at about 10. Next stop will be by January 31st. 20 pounds total loss since starting uh, the intermittent fasting and weight loss journey which I'm cr chronicling here on YouTube and um, I hope that this is helping you um, please check the link in the description um, for the first couple of episodes I try to create a catalog so that it will be easy with each video if you happen to jump into half of the journey you'll be able to go back to any of the previous episodes and quickly catch up on what's happened and you can actually, actually see the evolution um, or revolution of my intermittent fasting and weight loss journey I'm hoping by the end of this I will be down into at least 180 175 
which will be a huge, huge accomplishment for me, and it will be motivation for whoever watches these videos to to make that life change and you can always reach out to me uh, you can leave comments and I try to respond to comments as soon as I see them um, if there are any questions um, so you can uh, definitely take this as a um, a plus I do it regularly and I'm still here I try to eat more sardines and more tuna fish it's real easy to eat uh, to fix and um, also you remember my tips about um, increasing soluble fiber because that's another way to increase the feeling of fullness in your system and it's high in protein black beans okay until the next update thank you very much